Hey everyone. Hi. I'm, I'm Sarah. A- I'm Alfred. This is Dead Space. It is Dead Space. Part two. Part two. As you can tell by our change of attire and it's, it's uh, PJ time. slight growth of hair, this actually is not. Uh, oh, I bumped the mic. You sure did. Uh, I do that all the time, though. The thing that I do, I do this constantly. I like. Just AS- beard ASMR. My beard is now so long that sometimes I have it set in such a way where it gets my 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 chops or my beard or my. You look so handsome, by the way. Thank you. You look beautiful. Thank you. Put up Dead Space, babe. I'm just talking over nothing. All right. You know what? We Dead were... Space. There you go. We were going to talk about... Um... Wait, continue game and let's talk in the loading screen. Got it. Perfect. Sarah did most of the recording set this time. It was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Now the game's going to crash. Great. Was that there before? Yeah. I'll do the cable management. Thank you, my dear. Oh, no. What the hell is happening? Oh, no. Click it again. Good sign. Mm. All right, give me. All right, there you go. What were you going to talk about, Sarah? We were going to talk about some of the mistakes I made last episode. Yes, we were. Sarah, so I I, uh, I rewatched, uh, actually, I mean, I assume that you've seen it now. But I rewatched a good chunk of the video, uh, and like, I I realized what Sarah's doing. Sarah switches legs, like she'll shoot a guy's leg and then she shoots the other leg, and then she tries to go back to the first leg, and like, it wastes time. It eats up ammo. Well, I'm like, oh, it's all damage, right? This is Resident Evil. Yeah, right? she's treating it like Resident because Resident Evil has weak points that you shoot and those do more damage but dead space tries to not use health bars it's did you cut this guy's limb off or no and there are thresholds that you have to get over and it does you know somewhat use a hit point system but primarily it is uh just based on what you cut and what you don't remember how to do everything oh no wads is move e is use q is your quick heal it's only been a couple days. Shift but is run. It has been five days. It, I'm just so unfamiliar with using a PC. That man, we should do a, a, a counter of how many times I say I'm not a PC gamer, but something I was actually doing in the first game was, uh, or in the first video, I was trying to edit like every time I like praise Dead Space too much. Uh, <laughs> but I ended up cutting some of them out for time. So there's just a couple like miscellaneous clips where I'm like, wow, what a great blank. Oh, you. For you. This is what I think of your gift, bitch. Oh my god! What? I could just... Yeah. Oh yeah, you asked about that off screen. Um... Desecrate their corpses, Sarah. Aim at them and then hit F. Wait, what? Aim at them with right click uh-huh. and hit F. Other click and hit F. Wait, th- doesn't it give me a second option to click? Oh, click and F. There you go. Yes. Welcome to Half-Life 2. So, do I need to use that mechanic? Uh, yeah. It's your primary method of solving puzzles, and it helps you save ammunition. Remember how all of the necromorphs have big, spiky bone arms? Mm-hmm. What do you think you could do with those bone arms with Kinesis? Spike them. Yeah, you can throw the spikes back at them. So it saves ammo because you cut off one limb, and then you pick up the arm with Kinesis, and you just spear the necro through the chest, and you've saved a bullet. Good shit. He could hop over this. No, he's too heavy. So the reason that Isaac can cut through limbs with his huge, like, boots is uh, he's wearing magnetic boots. Gravity boots, specifically. Ah, the shop. Yes. Um, We can save your ammo, though. Okay. Or money, rather. Then where the hell am I going? Right. Right through there. Oh, right. The power they just gave me, right? Indeed. No, not you. Get out of here. 
But you, get out. Just... You can walk as well. Ugh, I can walk and shoot? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Sarah doesn't know how to walk and shoot because she's too used to Resident Evil. And, like, I think it's... F is it six that they start doing that? Flamethrower. Shit. So, take that back to the store. Okay. And it'll just unlock the ability to, for you to buy the flamethrower. Now, I will say... Flamethrower is trash. Oh my god, am I doing a worse job than yes or five days ago? What day is it? I mean... I've been sick. <laughs> I'm still sick. Yeah, Sarah got the flu. Or COVID. We, we're not sure yet. Look, I feel like they would have let you know if it was a uh, COVID. What am I doing now? Uh, you were dropping off the flamethrower schematic. And you can see... Well, you could at the last screen, but you can see that the flamethrower is now in there. Oh, so I just dropped it off? Yeah. Awesome. Now, do I have a limited inventory? Yes, you do. Hit I. Oh. You might have still been in the animation. There we go. That's your attache case, because this is space RE4. Remember that you now have two weapons as well, and as well, you also have kinesis. So you have the line gun, you have the... Yeah, so space switches... Space is alt fire, rather. There you go. One and two switches. Space does not... Space will spend ammo if you it, use it, it okay. on that gun. So, Line gun is um, basically your shotgun, whereas this is basically your pistol. Kinesis, however, is the closest thing you have to a real knife because the punch is pretty weak. Like I said, last time, that amazing punch that you did um, is basically the only exact time you ever get to use the real punch because it kind of sucks. We were attacked. Kendra's gone. One minute she was there, and I, I can't believe. I you guys her. are always in trouble. They're it's so Isaac incompetent. This. Isaac that. Get me the yeah. Codes and we'll find Nicole. It's okay, babies. I'll take care of you. Barricade the door to the emergency wing. I'm s I'm so confident. To get to the morgue. Get some thermite from medical storage and a shock pad from zero G therapy. Should be down the corridor. <laughs> Communication is useless in all this static. There was something about this bomb I wanted to talk about. I think the way that they describe it is that it's not a thermite. They describe it like it's regular thermite, but they use it in a way that's not actual thermite. But they use, but it is similar to a different thing called thermate. So a bomb will go there. Thank you for offering such uh, good um, commentary while I'm video gaming. Naturally. I want to drop a save off here. Yeah. Go back to saving in slot one. We'll just save. Uh, mm -hmm. do whoop. We'll save that, uh, that save at the start of chapter two just in case. So uh, the game might start being less. Do flies exist in space? Yeah. Who did that? Who brought the f who brought the flies to space? It's actually mentioned in a note, but I could tell you about it if you want. Please. So, um, they had a problem because this is a huge ship, right? Yes. So this actually needs stuff like, you know, a bunch of food. You know, it, it, it needs to be essentially, a, it's a small city in space, so it needs waste disposal, it needs food, it needs water, it needs all kinds of things that on Earth you just get for free, and you don't need to think about What the fuck is that? <laughs> Isn't it the best? I feel like I'm not supposed to... But yeah, it's a thing on Earth that you would get for free. What is he doing? Hmm? I'm trying to switch um, directions, and it's just doing that. I don't know why. Ain't that weird. Oh, it's because it's a guy. Oh. And the game is trying to stop you from shooting at him. Well, that time... That's some Silent Hill shit. Time to do it in the Dead Space way. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Where's my item? Oh, there it is. Line oh. racks. And a refill for your stasis. Look at the line racks a little more. Okay, walk far enough away that you don't trigger that, but close enough that you can still get the line racks. Bingo. Yay! Yeah, we ran into that bug last time as well. Um, oh, I'm, I'm full up. Yeah, you're full. 
We ran into that bug last time as well because um, there was those two containers that you couldn't open both of them. You could only open one. I'm gonna hit the aliens with my trident. Ah! Sorry. We were watching a uh, Gura stream. Wait, was I supposed to go here? No. Am I? Am you were you were checking on a side path. Should I? Oh. You can go back if you. It's up to you. Oh. Space is your game. Ooh, a nano bench. And this is your upgrade thing. We're saving right. that last node gotcha. because they are also used as keys. I don't remember if that's in Dead Space 2 or if it's in this one as well, but why take a chance? Why take a chance? Why take a chance? Anyway, so yeah, they were like, how the hell do we make a machine that can decompose things for us? Until eventually they were like, why bother making a machine? Couldn't we just <gasps> transport in? Yeah, Kinesis is great. What? 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 Oh. oh. Why oh. couldn't we just... Hello? Voice monsters. Why couldn't we just use actual flies? So they just imported a bunch of fly embryo, like larva, I think. Hey, what was stasis again? C. Didn't need it. R to reload. That one's easy because it's just the same. And you took eight plasma energy to kill those guys. Oops. But you got a thousand dollars and six back, so that's good. Is it good? Yeah, it is. Oh. Hmm. Hello, pickable object. Indeed. Pickable up object. Kinesable, maybe? Kinesable. Well, not anymore. So anyway, yeah, they just put... You don't have to keep holding that down. Oh. Where could it go? Oh, I see. <laughs> I've got this square peg. There's a square hole on the wall. This brings back a memory. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm having a... Hmm. Shit's locked. Shit's locked. Ugh, flesh. Is this an elevator? Elevator, yeah. So anyway, uh, as for the flies, yes, they just imported flies because it means that they can decompose human shit and decompose, like, rotted food and stuff like that, which then end up fertilizing soil Yeah. Uh, and make a small ecosystem on board the ship so they don't have to worry about that kind of thing. Flies are pretty important. Now, mosquitoes? Mosquitoes can die. We can, we can mosquito holocaust no problem. You. you. Remember that they are usually OSHA marked with a little pentagonal sign? This. There you go. I did it. I did a puzzle. So see that little sign? That's the sign that indicates that something is kinesable. Oops. Too far. So if there's that sign on anything in the Dead Space universe, one, two, or three. Did you hear a scary? That thing? those limbs that wasn't good <laughs> took a hit could have been better but that's okay <laughs> classic necro good leg is off arm is off yeah <laughs> Gross. Aim at that arm and hit F, why don't you? F? Yep. Ugh. Now, point it at a necromorph body and click. Remember that you can release the kinesis button. Mm -hmm. And you can move as well. There you go. So you can launch it at things. Emergent gameplay. So, um... What does it say? NF. MIF. N I N F. Infidel. Infidel. What does infidel mean? 
non-believer, heretic. Um, possibly someone who doesn't belong in this country. Oops. You see what I'm trying to do though, right? Yeah. See, the thing about like Half-Life 2, which Sarah hasn't played yet, is that um, gravity is a different weapon altogether, and then gravity is click and left click and right click for that gun. Whereas in Dead Space, it's its own thing. Nice. I'm gonna be so good at this game. Mm-hmm. I'm well, not supposed to be here, like. So. Like, look at this. It's like, go away. <laughs> So Stop. technically you just needed to get two things and it just told you that you didn't check your other side. Okay, cool. Just a door. Right. And... Something wrong? You're in a vacuum. I You're see. in space, remember? What are you willing to give up your life for? My cats. I'll let them eat my body to survive. You know, I, I think it's rhetorical, dear. Oh. The marker will save us, possibly slave us. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Put oh. it back, put it back, put oh. it back where it belongs. Uh, ooh. And then the, the, <laughs> the runes that are outside the marker. Which friend are you? <laughs> <laughs> Truck friend? Crazy ass? Or that? <laughs> Isaac would be the fighter. Actually, no. Isaac would be truck fake. He's this... an engineer. So, much like Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Isaac can hold his breath. What, 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 what? How do I get out of that? I don't know. Let me, let me run back real quick. So, for whatever reason, Isaac is less capable at holding his breath in his spacesuit than a normal human would be holding their breath just regular. Okay, so let's try that again. Hardcore gamer mode activated. Oh, here. A door, of course. You like how there's almost no sound and almost anything is something that Isaac would be hearing through his own speakers anyway? Oh no, tell me when I'm going to run out of breath. It'll be in 50 seconds. Hurry, you only have 47 seconds left. Not 47 seconds. As you know, Yishimura is able to set his gravity locally. Your grab boots will kick in when you enter a zero Side zero. path, side path, side path. So I think this is just a, a, a thing where it's like, you need to go to both, but you can do whichever one you want first. Side. But the game wants you to do the other one first. And I don't know if you need a key, but... All right, ready to have your brain bent? No. It's a puzzle. Oh, okay. What does that say? Deactivate gravity? No, not yet. <laughs> Try me. That guy got it hard. What? Okay, the, a qu good question. What's up with these guys? Depends on what happened to him. Yoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo
Also, I can't believe what's his name totally gave you a direct as you know. Well, what else is in here? I gotta get that sometime, huh? Uh, those might just be extras for this one. Oh, dizzy. Monies. More monies. Ooh. I'm so good. Hello. Shock pad. What does that do? Great. You got a shock pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. See, I think this is supposed to be thermite. I'm going to Google that to make sure, though. Stay safe, Isaac. Quick, entertain them. Oh, now the pressure's on. Wait, I don't know what my objective is. Um, do these do objectives? Uh, not this one, but you can still just back out and hit B. Right, I just want to know what objective I just did. Or... Um... You got the shock pad. You need a thermite and a shock pad. Thermite yeah. is a bomb-like substance. So is this all the main stuff? Yeah. Uh. Careful now. They can still kind of maneuver, and you've got a very small area to be getting on with. Try jumping somewhere, though. Uh, uh, control? Control? Ah! Get him! Ah! Ah! You going? Yeah! Good! Very good. Uh... Reload that gun. Oh, wait, actually, get your stuff as well. Give me my yummies. Mm. Reload. Then we are going to control, and we're going to do a big old Isaac jump. Okay. And then... Can't find anything about whether or not this is supposed to be thermite or thermate. Though uh, someone makes the excellent point that we're in the medical wing. What is thermite doing here? What's thermite? Thermite is um. Listen, gravity. I think it's time for you to stop. I mean, continue. <laughs> uh, 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 I guess not. Whatever, it's fine. Gravity will do it at once. Gravity Cat is amused. Oh, I have to breathe again. No, I have to do the opposite of breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Taking the big old breath of nothing. Zero gravity therapy room. Please read. Navigating the zero-g environment is dangerous. Only crew members wearing gravity boots should activate the gravity control panel and should use caution at all times. Patients should not enter unless accompanied by a sec medical officer. Could also see easy. Don't you imagine that's what the voice would be, though? Uh, most of the, like, space lady voices, especially in Dead Space, are already British. Yeah. Good. Getting a lot of line racks. Might want to switch to that and try that out, out at some point. Someone also makes the excellent point that... Um, that thing scared the shit out of me, by the way. I didn't <laughs> make it like a noise or anything, but I was... <laughs> okay, how about that one? Did you make a noise for that one? No. Get her. Oh, and that little noise. That so was scary. To the, uh, I think you can scroll wheel as well. Nice. That scared the piss out of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 on your right, on your right. No. Yes. Our old friend save. Thank you. So what is thermite again? Thermite is a uh, substance that heats up incredibly hot. Okay. Uh, and what's and... it for? Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to skip dialogue right now, I think. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Wait, you should tell them about that. Okay. Sarah was playing KOTOR 1 uh, because she <laughs> loves Bioware. And by loves Bioware, I mean she played Inquisition and fell in love with Iron Bull. But, like, Security who didn't? Phone. Uh, oh. Wait, never mind. That's not something I could tell the public. <laughs> you know what I was thinking about, huh? Oh, God. 
Sarah, you realize by saying that now you've just driven everyone crazy by figuring out what the hell you're talking about. Well, maybe someday. Look, the love between Iron Bull and anyone else is pure and, and good. Behind you. Shoot! That bitch dodged. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. That looked like a bug. What? Anyway, so how was the line gun? What happened? Uh, I've never seen them jump like that. Oh, so that was not meant to happen? I don't think so. But I've... It might be. But I've never seen it look like that. How's the line gun feeling? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. My toes are cheap. Where we ah! What were you telling them? Uh, I was just talking about Iron Bolt. Anyway, so Sarah played... No. <laughs> you mashed the use button, dear. Back up, I guess. Where's that anti-gravity now? It's over there. Right now, the gravity's normal. Ooh, could you scratch my back? Oh, okay. Anyway, what were you telling them? I was trying to tell them about your uh huh and, and Kotor yes, 1. Yes, yes, yes. Tell them about the So at uh -huh. one point, you're given a verbal test to become a Jedi. Because, spoiler alert, you become a Jedi in KOTOR 1. Um, and Sarah has not beaten KOTOR this 1. This looks like the fuck room. Funny you say that. Stop. Stop. Should I shoot him now or later? <laughs> That was not meant to happen. Man, that thing is way stronger in two, but it's still pretty weak. I meant um, to stomp. Well, then uh, stop aiming. Right. Oh. But you got his limbs off anyway. I think he's dead. Yeah. Anyway, uh-huh. Anyway, so Sarah was talking to the guy, and he gives her a verbal test, and then they get to the first question, and, and he says, like... Peace is, like, prompting her. Nice. So that was two shots with a line gun. But if, you're, if your aim is good, you can get it down to one. Nice. Mm-hmm. Pulse round schematic. It's time. It's time. And so Sarah's just mashing through his dialogue because she doesn't want to hear, to hear a Jedi Master just flap his jaws at you. And then, and then he gives her the first question... And it's like some esoteric poem, and she's like, "Wait, what?" What? <laughs> and I was like, "Sarah, you, you, you made your bed. Now lie in it. You skip through his dialogue. You can. This is your own fault. This is entirely your own fault. You were saying uh huh to him, like you were listening. And then when he asked you to repeat anything that oh, he said back, it wasn't that important. <laughs> it's the test to become a Jedi or not. Poey. Anyway, now we've got another note, so freeze, we can put it. What's freeze time again? Uh, that's called stasis. And what is it? The button is C. C. I've used that in a second. I I find myself not using it more often than not. More hit points is always good. More hit points is always good. What's air? Air is air. Oh, air is air. Air is air. So this is my hit point, and then what's this? That's your hit point. Those things in the middle are nothing. So you gotta spend three nodes just to get one hit point upgrade. No. But the hit point upgrades are good. It's a lot better when you have a bunch of nodes. Quick, entertain them. Tell them about KOTOR. Um, Sarah hasn't played KOTOR yet, and she hasn't even gotten past um, Kashik, mostly because Kashik is a slog. And we are doing the planets in the mostly, like, recommended order, I guess. So, you know, Tatooine, Kashyyyk, Manan, Korriban. Sorry, I'm doing a stretchy. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Big ol' stretchy. Oh, okay. There we go. Ha, huh, ha. Huh. Okay, I'm ready. You're ready. All right. You can just cut that out. So yeah, this is a thing, and this is a thing that's very common in Dead Space. If you want anything past the basic shit, you have to put, um, mm -hmm. like nothing. You see, like you can get capacity and then nothing. 
But after that, you can get reload, you can get a speed upgrade, you can get more capacity, more damage. But you got to put null points in. Oh man, we 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 um cat sit today. Yeah, we cat sit. And I'm just so cat sat. <laughs> cat sitted. And cat sitted. Is that how you say that? This is like one of those hanged and hung things. Yeah, I think it must be. Okay. Oh shoot, babe, I don't know what to get. Make a decision for me. Save it. You've only got one node that you can actually use, so I, save it. I always appreciate your decisiveness. Well, I'm very good at dead space, and I can tell you, probably good to save your notes. You just hit E again. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you listen to me, and then you're like, you know what? I've changed my mind. You were wrong. No. <laughs> I'm going to just upgrade this just to say fuck you. <laughs> no, you were so wrong. So behind you is a place where you can put in a node. Oh, okay. I'll do that. Yeah. And it's always, these are pretty much always worth it because you almost always get stuff that you would not get or you get enough to buy another node and change. So, like. What's that? Audio, uh, audio log. Okay, I'll check that out in just a second. What are you? You found something down there, didn't you? Yes. We found something. So the text. We found right. something, my oh, lord. I wouldn't be certain of that. There was nothing divine in what I saw. We must embrace this. We are the first witnesses. The These are creeps. Hit E again. Colony. It's under quarantine until we learn more. To hell with Matthias. He of all people should know that this is greater than him, or the operation, or even the company. This is our deliverance. Keep your damn voice down. People are dying down there. Only the worthless and the unbelievers. But I believe. Do you believe, Terrence? Hey, I recognize that anatomical model from Dead Space 2. Did I get a did I get a, a node? Uh no, you got a thing called a gold semiconductor as well as a huge health pack, a medium-sized one specifically, and some ammo. Okay. That's pretty so good. So gold semiconductors are treasure. Oh. Just like an RE4. Except you don't have a greasy man to say that he will buy it at a high price. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I hope we didn't blow up the mic. Uh, we peaked it a little bit, but that's okay. Did, did I miss one of these doors? One of the node doors? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think so. Back out. Mashy. First death. Aww. I didn't know what I needed to do, but that's okay. So that's the swarm, I think. So yes, you can shoot them. But it's kind of easier to mash E. But they sap the shit oh, out of your wow. health. So how do you deal with these guys? Um, a shot is usually too overpowered for them. So these are the These are problems. Yeah, they're the they're a problem. Cuz like they're so small, like what are you going to do? You're going to stasis one of them? You're going to you're going to shoot one of them with your huge ass line gun rounds? It's kind of like just deal. Deal. So here's how you deal though. Right? That is one of the few uses of the pulse rifle. Pulse rifle? Oh. It's it's a machine gun. It's a normal earth machine gun and it's made for shooting humans cuz it's a real weapon. But that's not actually worthwhile. What just happened? Something blew up behind you. Remember that you can walk with your gun pointed at things in case that makes you feel better. Should I be concerned? Hmm. <laughs> what the hell was that? I feel unsafe. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's one of the uses of the pulse rifle. Because like ordinarily you wouldn't use a pulse rifle to cut through a limb, which makes it kind of useless, right? Because everything in this game is like, yo, cut through the limbs, though. Uh, there's a shop that we can use, and we should. Here? No. Oh, the thing that says store? Indeed it does. It's in Japanese. You're on the Ishimura. Go ahead. So, pulse rifle, 7,000 money, mm -hmm. 
shoots terrible at cutting off limbs. Mm -hmm. You can use it for that, but it's not very good at it. However, because it can pop one of the swarms in one shot, it makes it pretty decent. The flamethrower is of the same breed. Um, but those both have their own problems. And you also have enough money for a power node. Is that good? Uh, you could just buy a power node and upgrade what you have. But we also got that gold semiconductor, which is 3,000 credits. Oh. It's treasure. Mm-hmm. Neato. Yep, so now we got some more money. So if you want, we can get a third weapon here. I mean, there's only one power node in the store, right? No, you can keep buying those. Oh, you can keep buying them? They're yeah. Infinite? So does that make um, why it takes so many dud nodes to upgrade your health make sense? Yes. Because you can just keep on buying them. And you also keep finding them. So yeah. what do you think I should get? Um, so I, I like the flamethrower. And in the second game, I like the pulse rifle. But I would completely understand you not using them. Um, I can't remember if the flamethrower works in space. Because the logic is most um, most flamethrowers wouldn't work in space because fire requires oxygen. Hmm. But on the other hand, that's a hydrazine flamethrower, so it should work in a vacuum. But knowing EA, they might have spent the money to get the world building done and not actually backed it up in game. So it still might not work in space, even though it should. Nice. And then we should save. Like, I bet someone's like, oh, that was a terrible decision. Nah. The thing is, is that you can beat this game with just the plasma cutter. Like, your bad decision was buying the line gun. Why not just buy the plasma cutter and just sink every node already, you have into I it? I thought I already got the thermite bomb. Nope, you got the shock pad, remember? Oh, so, okay. I need the shock pad and the thermite? Yes. Is thermite real? Yeah, it is. Mm. Mythbusters used it. Guys, I'm a scientist. You're not a chemist, though, no. or a bomb defusal expert. Um, I mean, I do know a lot of chemistry. Yeah, but you're not a chemist. Yeah. I know a lot of biology, but I'm not a biologist. I also know nothing about bombs. Yeah, I know a lot about bombs. See, the thing is, to me, I when, when someone says thermite, I think of the stuff that you melt through the top of a bank vault with in Payday the Heist. Did I save? Better save. Oh. Let me in. Let me in. Aww. Back away from the door. Okay. I've noticed that bug in two as well. Looks great down here. Yeah. I feel like I've been down here. That's a little late to tell you, I think. Nice. Considering that we've been using it and for... Thank you. <laughs> a lot of meat. Oh, see that? Want to know another test? Hit F. You can drag normal corpses. Okay. You can also throw them at something to wake it up. So that pile's fine. Give me your treasures. You're holding a head there. Ugh. Pops like a grape. God, this hallway. Ooh, what's this? Status Stasis recharge, which you don't need. Your stasis is full. Stasis is... Don't walk, don't walk into the door again! Sorry, you did that three times last episode <laughs> and it wasted a whole, it wasted most of your health. It, it was why most of your health was empty. Oh my god, this is Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Fuck this place. Oh my god, isn't it so gross? I hate, I, I hear something clomping around, you know? Something very heavy and mechanical. Well, that's the door that you just stasis, remember? <laughs> that would be one of our cats if they were human. <laughs> Jesus. 
Wanna know? Wait, they're filling me up. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah. What was that? A hazardous anomaly was detected, you say? There he is. Very good. That one's alive. Back away, that's a bomb. Sarah, you're not you're not dead. I'm not dead? Yeah. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Shut up. Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. Got it. Ah! Oh, got it. Ah! Oh. Shit. 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 Fuck. Ah. Oh. oh, I'm so. Oh. Oh. Okay. I can't heal. Right. So. For reference, I would avoid sitting on top of your grenades like a mother hen yes, trying to hatch. I, I I moved my hand slightly to the right, and I was hitting the wrong things. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't like... I can't tell if I don't like the line gun or if I'm just incompetent. Just stop hitting space. It only turns on the, oh, the plasma cutter. But I love to stomp. Every... Well, then don't aim. Handled. <laughs> Badly, but handled. Badly handled. I thought I was dead. Anyway, you will much more verifiably kill a guy if his arms are off rather than if their legs are off. Legs will slow a guy down, but arms will remove their ability to attack you efficiently unless they have a mouth or something. I appreciate that. But still, you know, shooting uh, the upper section is usually a lot better. I just let them run up on me, huh? Yeah, so you shot that guy, you shot that guy's legs off, and then walked, you might have walked near to him, or he might have just been close to you to begin with. Did you guys give me any things? Um, yeah, they gave you some lion ammo, oh. and a health pack. Cool. And then you weren't aware of your surroundings, and one snuck up behind you and grabbed you. Yeah. Um. One death, though. Still only one death. So far. So far. I'm gonna just back up into a wall. Is that smart? Decently so. But oh it's good to have a wall behind you that you can back up to. My heart is like- Because you can't back up anywhere if you're already backed up as far as you can go. Shit, So you fuck. shot right over him? Oh, I'm just... This game has you fried. <sighs> yeah. So I don't know if you had more med packs and accidentally used them. Because I know that you were, like, mashing your controls a little bit. That one's dead. Check your surroundings. Make sure. Good. Another one coming in. That one has armor on. Reload that gun. That's empty. Good. So yeah, that is a problem with the line gun. Because you can see that it handled those problems. That's all of them. So yeah, the line gun hand handled those problems, but you ran out of juice after five necros. Because it only f holds five. Or uh, four, I think, actually. Um, what a shit show. <laughs> All right. So yeah. I think I do have a preference for the um, plasma gun. Plasma cutter is great. Do you, you see why people can beat the whole game with just that one now? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's awesome. And a video log. What in God's name is going on down there? I think that's precisely the point, Doctor. God's work. I'm there you not go. So sure of that. We have to assume that the colony's problems are somehow connected to the marker. You can assume all you want to. I do not. The marker is glorious and divine. You 
You know that. God moves in mysterious ways. Anyway, we'll have it on board tomorrow. You can analyze it all you want to. What are you so worried about? Worried? Captain, people are what are you worried about? <laughs> Nobody betray me. The transformation unitology teaches us? Doctor. Terrence. There will always be risk when the stakes are high. And here... You can pick stuff up without backing out, I think, by the way. Change everything. There you go. And that's what worries me. Never a good thing to hear from a priest. So they found a thing called the marker. And granted, because of your minor background in Dead Space 2, you know what the marker is. It's a big thing. I forgot. Science, well, science fiction is often, shall we say, reliant on the big dumb object. Which is... A big fucking thing. I think the best example is probably Halo. The Halo rings. They're just a giant Earth-sized ring in space. But I think, like, one of the older, like, more classic examples is... Uh, the monolith from 2001 Space Odyssey. Mm-hmm. You know, I've yet to see Space Odyssey and... Uh, Space Odyssey. Odyssey, right. You know David Bowie's birth name is not David Bowie, and he named himself <laughs> after that movie. I know. And and then named his sixth best song after the movie. That's why it's called Space Odyssey. So why don't you check out the wall? One second. Well, yeah, loot these, of course. Looting takes priority over pretty much everything. I am a loot goblin. And this is a video game we're playing here. And a survival one at that. Loot is... King. Pretty important. Yeah, loot is king. You're right. So, uh, you may notice that that isn't really human. No. So wanna, what's, what's going on there? He's got some... Want to hazard a guess? What's that thing where it's like your lymph nodes and your spleen... Spleen... Spleen negly, I think? <laughs> Ooh. I should know that. My teachers would be very disappointed. I don't know. To me, it sounds like a golf ball found its way into your mouth and you try to spit it out without using your teeth. Well, so it looks like it used to be human. Definitely. Much like many of the monsters you fought. I like how that guy's uh, stuff is all in his throat. <laughs> or all that his, his arms have fallen off. All his, all his uh, Save. bits. Do you have favorite graffiti? What do you mean? I'm just talking about In these, like, space? wall scribbles. What does this say? No, I know God. No God, no fear. And then cursive. That's a different language. <laughs> May as well be. Fucking fogies right in. Okay. So I think of... I remember some doors upstairs that weren't open, so I'm gonna try to double back real Ah, quick. good. Um let me see if there's anything here. I have the ability to run. Remember that you can also stasis fools in case you're wait. Yep. So why don't you check out your ammo situation? Your gun holds 10 and 5. So you've got a shitload of plasma. You've got a hundred reloads of plasma, I think. Uh, uh, suitcases. Yeah, and line racks are obviously a lot rarer, but if Nothing you use ever them right. Nothing happen in a fucking horror game bathroom. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Sorry, I don't know how to use the, the wasp. Did I say that right? Am I a gamer? My gamer. I like saying wads. I know that's not really the order that they're in. So in the grand survival horror tradition, they found something, and of course they brought it on board. Are these the things I killed before? Yeah. Oh, 
I just did a loop de loop. You've you've done a circle, yeah. I and see. you didn't hit the elevator either. There we go. Sorry, I was just Loop team. So yeah, in the Grand Survival Horror Tradition, they found a thing, they brought it back, didn't know what it was, decided to fuck around with it, got got. Now the whole thing is just a train wreck. Um So the thing about the marker that they found Still locked. Still locked. Uh cool. Can you check on your right? Okay, cool. I think we're done up here then. Okay. Let me just do a good old courtesy. Yep, yep, okay. Good, let's go. So the marker is the thing that they found. And Wish watch the vents. Watch the vents. That's how they're getting around. So, um, yeah, they found a marker, brought it back, bumped the mic. Sorry. Uh, and stuff happened as a result. Uh, at this point, they still, like, call it a virus. I really don't agree. I think that this is straight up magic that they're doing. Bio curse. Yeah. By the way, Sarah, be mindful of what, uh, enter. Right. Be mindful of what med kits you actually have on you. Sure thing. Because you have small, medium, and large med kits. Mm -hmm. Small med kits heal one peg, medium heals two, large heals three. Biological prosthetics center. What do you think that is, dear? You might want to watch what's happening to that guy. So they can shoot. What can shoot? That thing? That. It can shoot guns? No. Oh. <laughs> That's why I was wanting you to watch, see. Sorry, I was really wanting to save him, but I guess you really can't. No. He's, he's one of those, like, sacrificial tutorial NPCs. There's this scene in RE5 where I was so convinced I could save the lady. And I couldn't. But I tried. So, what do you think a biological prosthetic is? Um, a leaf arm? Like an adventure time? Like, like an anamorph arm? A what? What are these monsters called? Necromorph. A necromorph arm? Necromorphs didn't exist until recently. Did the necromorphs come from the prosthetic arms? Why don't we go in there and we'll see. Oh. I need a grenade. But not from the light gun. I don't, I'm not a big fan. And why don't you take a big old peek in there? So he just got got. He's not even, like, a necromorph. Check it out. Oh, it's a baby's. That's how uh, they take care of workers after their accidents. What does that mean? They clone babies and then just grow them up and reattach the limbs. <laughs> so, how do I kill that thing? All right, stay out because th this is just useful tips. Stay out on them some more. Okay. Don't face fuck them. Don't face fuck. You have a gun, Sarah. You don't need to melee fight these dudes. They want to melee fight you. Don't let them. Okay. Why let them get the satisfaction? Answer me this. So yes. they are making neck. Okay. People on the ships have babies. Yeah. I assume they're going through some type of population crisis. No, they just need more limbs. People lose shit in accidents and they got to graft more stuff on them. So the workers keep working. Are they using the stem cells? For Is this like a BB situation? No. They just need more stuff. So they're using living things. Yeah. Babies. Yeah. Is this like a secret or is this like a well-known thing? And people are like, eh. Yeah, this is just a thing. People don't care. They're just making brain dead children so they can graft their body parts on others. Is it like test tube babies? Is it like... I mean, look at the wall here. This is probably test tube babies we're talking about. So is like, does Isaac know about this? And he's like, eh. Same. Isaac doesn't care. It's a blue collar worker. So like, is everyone okay with this? Everyone appears to just be okay with this. Do you hear the baby 
like cries that I'm pretty sure are hallucinations. Those might be dementia, yeah. Look at him. He's like... Yeah. You hear that? That's creepy. Yep. Anyway, so they make babies to graft onto people. Yeah. And that's where the necromorphs come from. That's a big source of them. So is it raised anywhere that it, this is unethical or? It actually is uh, part of the religion of the unitologists. Don't kill babies? No, do kill babies. Here, move your arm. I love your arm there, but I gotta sit up straight to play video games. Sorry, my arm is just kind of tangled underneath you here. My back. Okay. Freaking little test tube babies. They're gonna pop out. Here, hold on. I need to. There we go. I wonder if Visceral has something against babies. Ooh, I feel my skin crawling. Yeah, isn't this a creepy area? Ugh, it's stuck on my leg. <laughs> Ugh, get it off, gross. Ew, human. Yeah. So, okay. Ugh. I just can't wrap my head around, like, how they're just like, yeah, this is ethical. <laughs> yeah, because in Death Stranding, they do it because the is babies have the, psychic is powers. Is this the game where they want to make a flesh moon? Yes. But that's a spoiler. Can you cut that? You can cut that. That's fine. Yeah. Whoopsies. Anyway, so yeah. Um, What's the other scary... Um, the thing? Okay, no. This is Dead Space. There's also Alien Isolation. What was the... Is this the game that was known for being, like, so, so scary? Or is that is Alien Isolation? Are they both kind of, like... They're both really well known for being scary. Okay, okay. Is Alien Isolation similar to this game? Or am I just getting them confused for no reason? Um, yes. On both? That's the door you came in, you know. Really? Yeah. Oh. I see. Sorry. I'm glad. Um, so are they similar games is what I'm asking? Uh, you know that Dead Space was based off of Aliens, right? It was inspired directly. So it's a survival horror game based off of... Shoot. There you go. Crack the code. See what happened? I shot it. And oh, the limbs popped out. I have to sever the limbs. Yep. Cut the limbs. Cut off the limbs, though. Are these cradles? <laughs> oh, my. No, no, no. no. Uh, get out of here. Uh, get off, you freaky little thing. So. I panicked. They can stick to walls, right? Yes. You did good. You killed it. You also, I don't think you took damage. So these things can stick to walls, yes? Mm -hmm. So. Oh, I do not want to like look back on the accordion and see all the weird faces I was making. <laughs> fear. Fe Aim your gun. I meant to say pure fear. And I said like fear. You said like fear, peer. Pure so fear. aim your gun. So these things stick to walls, right? And the tentacles come out from the back. Mm -hmm. So with your gun like this, you can shoot straight down in a line and get all of the tentacles in one blow. But if they're on the floor in front of you, you want to have it sideways so you can shoot all the tentacles in a line again. I see. Okay. And you just want to take all of their tentacles off in one shot. You did it accidentally on the first one. And then you like mostly got body shots in the other one. Uh, and the thing that did the most damage was when your gun, like, vertically happened to just line up perfectly. Oh, no. Yeah, it's Wait, uh, so these aren't test tube babies? They are at least partially test tube babies. I don't know how far it goes back. Have you read The Giver? No. Uh, there's, like, it's a, you know, uh, what do you call it? Dystopia type of thing where it's... Yeah. Where oh, it's, you told me about this, there's actually. There's, like, sp people who are, like, specifically put, like, from the day they're 
born. They like observe them and they give them everything they want. You know, it's very like yeah. But by like the time like fifteen, they're like, okay, you have a job to do, and like some people's jobs is just to be pregnant. And if your baby has a problem, they just inject it with some fun juice and. Okay, bye, baby. No problem anymore. No problem anymore. You told me about that. And I, like, just imagine, like, there's just these bunch of women who are like, oh, this is my civic duty. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty dire. Um, it's a good book. Good movie, too, if you don't want to uh, read the book. Yeah. Um... But yeah, I just can't wrap my head around this to where they're like, yep, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, because, like, in, it, again, in Death Stranding, there's also a very small amount of them. And you're sure the regular people are okay with this? This isn't, like, a thing where they're like, ooh, yummy. This isn't just a thing where they're like, we don't know about it. Ooh, spread my back. Some people don't know about right. it. Keep playing. Okay, sorry. Um. Uh. I got the thermite. Yeah, great. Don't take your hands off the thing. <laughs> the thermite you picked up should be able to melt through the barricade. Use the shark bag to ignite it. Hope I can hold this position. I can hear something big moving out there. You remember the rules from Doom? You picked up a key item. That means that the monsters are mad. Okay. So, Isaac knew about babies? A lot of people know about them. They just don't care. Some people don't know. Some people I guess are it's upset. Kind of like a like a thing where it's like, well, we could either kill babies or you all could go limbless. Yeah. So how exactly did they turn into necromorphs? Uh, keep playing. Play the game. Got it. I will say though. Um, well, I'm just saying like play while I'm talking, so we're not just standing in a room, because I do that on my LP sometimes. Uh, and, and just nothing happens while I just stand and talk. Well, he does too, so it happens at all levels. Remember to not charge into the door that's slamming open and shut. Perfect. Get in there. I'm trying, man. I'm sure you heard something. So his legs are armored. You're out. Remember, you got your stasis as well. That was rough, but I don't know if you even took any damage. Walk forward. You didn't take any damage. You just managed to hold them off while you were backed into this corner. So remember when you, you asked if being backed into a corner is safe? It's about that safe. It, it is safe if you can keep shit away from you from the front. And use all your ammo. But it does, it can be ammo costly. So what you do want to do is have stuff in front of you, but also have empty space behind you that you can reliably back up to. Oh, my throat is so itchy. It's probably because of that cat sitting we did. So it's very allergic to our friend's cat. She's very hairy, though, so. Ugh. Blah. Um, yeah, so, so they talk about, like, the virus, you know, the virus that allows necromorphs to, and, like, I don't... You this, guys are the virus. This is bullshit. There's no way that, the, that this could be a virus. This is beyond science. This is definitely magic. Like, this... Some Cthulhu shit, you know? It is, it is. It's old god stuff. This, enter again. This... Ma this this thing, this pillar, you know, it's described as a machine sometimes, and apparently it just makes energy. L you know, they say that it just creates necromorphs, and I don't really know how it works, but it just does. Going to the store, shopping all around. You can see if you want to sell something as well. You've got a lot of plasma. Should I really sell plasma? If you want to, you can. It's taking up space in your inventory is the thing. Oh, can we take a break? I need to, I need to like unitch myself. We're actually almost nearly done with the chapter. Oh, okay. 
You got both key items, remember? I should um get a med pack, huh? You've got a medium one, so that'll heal too. Oh, um, but a boss is coming up, isn't it? Yeah, but bosses drop health items. Yeah, I'll be fine. Pretty reliably. Remember that this game also has rubber banding with its ammo. I know that that's kind of like a gameplay spoiler to tell you that, but like it works like RE4. It rubber bands with its ammo. Is there any um, benches in here? I forget. Uh, you can walk a little bit further to to get one. Uh, hold down B, and then hit up and down on the arrow keys. Mm -mm. Up and down. Damn. Mm -mm. They add it in the second game then. Oh, I'm all itchy. Okay. Here, right? Uh, I think so. To get to the bench? Yep. So yeah, there's there's just so many good quality of life things in Dead Space 2. Um, you know you're still full from the last time you hit one of those? Uh, but one of the big ones is that you can just reconfigure your, your little thing to to just search for anything, like save points, shops, and benches, mm -hmm. uh, which is just very convenient. All right, so if you want, you can sink in two and get a reload speed. Or you can sink in two and just get two duds, but be closer to getting capacity, speed, damage, and another damage. Hmm. Hmm. Does it cost to go backwards? Yes. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Hmm. So the best way to go about this would probably be bam, 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 um, bam, 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 bam. Mm hmm And then you, and then you can restart from here and go from these ones. And then you can just get that last capacity. And then you leave these two unfilled. Mm-hmm. So here? I would. Hmm. And then maybe here now? Yep. A little faster reload. I love this. More games should do this. It's a really interesting system of upgrading, and they got rid of it in Dead Space 3. Oh, that's unfortunate. It is. Well, all of Dead Space 3 is rather unfortunate, I would say. And then head back to your main path. The critical path to the objective. So how are you feeling about Dead Space? Pretty good. Yeah. Itchy. Tasty. A little more world building this time. Yeah, I'm digging it. So, yeah. So one thing that is kind of underappreciated at this point, I would say, is like how prevalent of a religion, um, uni unitology, that's what it's called. Wait, do they know about unitology at this point? They, they've they mentioned it at all. They've mentioned mm -hmm. it here and there. Um, but those are the... Those are the guys who are like, this is God's work. They're unitologists. They, you get a lot of that in Dead Space 2, but... Bomb back time. away. Oh, I can't. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Okay, you're through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. All right, you're heading into the morgue in a zombie apocalypse. One where corpses just get up and start walking. It's this is my girlfriend. It is. That, that looks great. We need more help. She's we don't pretty. have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds. We are not equipped to deal with this. She has such cute teeth. Get up to the table. Hold him. Not you hold him down. Every corner. Is that Isaac in the background? No. That was Nicole, right? I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. I'm not. <laughs> Where do you think Nicole is? I don't know. Some place that, that, you know... She's in character development land. <laughs> Residing around the fridge. 
She's in the off-screen closet where we keep characters we don't want to deal with right now. Oh. Sarah. <laughs> it's a motion-sensitive door, Magneto. <laughs> Uh, so, Unitology has actually replaced Christianity as the dominant religion. Sorry, we're full. No. But yeah, Unitology is the most common and uh, then atheism. Um, saying God, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Save uh, me. As like Save a minced us. oath is still fairly common as we can see by Nicole swearing and Isaac says all manner of swear in the second game, even though that those are like predominantly Christian swears. Yeah. Lord's name in vain and all that shit. Good. Popped it. Yeah. Good. Handled. That's three plasma rounds. Oh, scary. Oh my god, the way that you just fucking bend it like Beckham. Remember that the line rack is like the plasma cutter, but just does more damage. So yeah. Oxygen refill. Don't worry, it's just a friendly old morgue. Good job, EA. Oh yeah, we should put a flashing lights warning. Dead Space is awful about this, may I say. Dead Space is absolutely miserable about flashing lights. Because they just do it all the time for it, the sake of it being scary that you can't Wait, see. is this the birthing room? No, this is the morgue. Oh. Same thing. It's the exact opposite, in fact. In this day and age. <laughs> in this economy? Same thing. We all have them. Okay, so you have to keep holding down okay. right click. Okay, okay, right click. Right click is just aim. And, then... and it's how you keep moving it around. But you can let go of F so you can keep moving your character. Where do you belong? Mm hmm. Maybe there's a square hole we can put the square peg into. Hmm. I wonder. I need a battery shaped hole for this battery. Bingo. Bongo. There's so much of our commentary that is just some of us says something stupid and the other one says something again and, and the other says something back. Like when we were just popping at each other. We're doing it again. Is there more camera sway this time? I think. Sorry, that looked beatable. <laughs> These guys looking at babies. Oh. Where are you going? I'm looking around, seeing if I missed anything. Are they, so they just do dissections of this room or something? It's a morgue. Yeah, but why are there tables? To... Do you know what a morgue is, dear? Yes, I know what a morgue is, but usually they slide them in so they're covered somewhere. That is a good point. Maybe that's, that's the next I, room. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. This um, looks more like a sick bay. Oh, you're right. God, this probably imagine, is the sick bay. Imagine being oh, in a go to the door. Go to the door. Imagine being in a sick bay and being right next to the morgue and they're just No, like, go look above the door. Back up. Current return to security. That's the way. Okay. Head out and look behind you. Is there a quick turn? I don't know. Emergency room. Emergency there you go. Emergency room. Okay. Cool. So also, isn't that there. brilliant that you can just look at the door and just figure shit out? Elevated to morgue. So that's probably the shortcut back out when you're done in the morgue. Okay. I'm exploring. Mm-hmm. Put that music back where it came from. His tentacles aren't out yet, by the way. 
He's dead. <laughs> so that was uh, three line racks too many. <laughs> if you pop him when his tentacles are out, he do he takes more damage. What? What? He puked on you. He did it again. But that's a good use of line racks. Because, like, I, I say it's like the shotgun, but don't really treat it like that. Even though it does have a very wide attack, you still got to aim with it and you still got to hit weak points. It is just useful for hitting more than one weak point at a time. Head on in. Ammo. These rooms are safe. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Line racks come Oh, you can buy line rack ammo now. That's good, considering it's far rarer than plasma energy. And then there's lockers in here. Only one contains something. We should probably go uh, drop off that line rack schematic, huh? What was that, huh? What was what? What I got from the locker. What is that? What was it? I think it was plasma energy. So no none? No, but you got a lot more supplies. And so more, I, I say that you always get the worth back. You don't always literally get the worth of a node back, but like the schematic that it gave you lets you make ammo for the line gun now. And so you can just buy it. And so you have a technically infinite amount. Perfect. Right. So, yeah, don't reload until you're safe. I thought I was safe. You could hear growling. That's the giveaway. Yeah. Makes sense. Cool. No. What? You wasted a little bit. Oh, I know. So, remember to... I, I said this earlier, but remember to be mindful of your healing stuff. Because you had a medium med pack. And so it burned the whole medium med pack, mm. even though you had a little bit uh, more that you could have used. Whoopsies. Check behind you. There you go. Hello? Can anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why did they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. In the wall. I'm sure she made it out Hello? perfectly fine. Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait, I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Okay, Help. if I meet anybody Help. named Help. Harry... Help. Shoot. Why would she be like, Wait, I know you. You're that man, aged 47. <laughs> Careful. Huh? You didn't know what you were backing up into. But backing up while shooting is good. While you're moving, reload. Wait, what? Handled? Hmm? Is everything dead? I guess your punch might have killed that guy. So you see how good proper use of the line gun is. Uh, newborns, Alice, Al Alyssa Rose, Kai Jaten, Alyssa Leone. They name them? Well, if you notice, only some of these have last names. And some of them actually have the same first name as another one. I can't scroll, so I think that's it. Uh, up or down on the D-pad? Or arrow keys? This? No, the D-pad. Arrow keys. Fuck. <laughs> but it looks like that's the entire list. The D-pad. No, the D-pad. No, the D-pad. Breast to... milk. I mean breast milk. Don't talk about that on my <laughs> channel. <laughs> I popped enough blood vessels when you were trying to avoid saying submissive and breedable while you're playing Half-Life. <laughs> Into getting shit starter. <laughs> uh, so if you wanted to head back to the shop and drop off some of the things that you got, now would be a good time. Sure, cutie. So, um, 
Remember to be mindful of what's behind you and try to use your ears to listen. Because mm. this game has stereo sound, so you should be able to hear shit behind you if there's shit behind you. And yes, everyone, we're going to backtrack. Because this is how Sarah wants to play. Unless you don't want to backtrack. Um, we don't have to. Do you, this is your game, dude. You can do what you want. Uh, is it close? It's like a couple rooms away. Uh, I'll just... I'll just go. It's uh, There's one probably coming up soon anyway. It's a good game. I assume that there's one coming up soon. Because, like, you know, balanced games do that well. Is this Harry? I bet that's Harry. I mean, we know that the person in question was named Eileen. And it was probably a woman. Come on, Eileen. Was that funny? Did I get your goat? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Kine mentioned earlier to Captain Matthias. Uh, further our previous conversation, I asked to delay bringing up the marker from the planet for a day or two. I'm keen as anyone to study it in detail, understand the sense of urgency. That's why I asked. That's why I asked. What's happening down there is too unique, happening uh, too unique, too unprecedented to cut it short without time to study cause and effect. In light of a discussion with Dr. Mercer, I'd like to meet with Dr. Scalarello and Wayland, like Wayland Utani, to get their observances from Terrence. Awesome. So yeah. They found this fucking thing. So maybe it's like um, the baby like arm stuff mixed with this thing. Enter. What do you think? Um, mixed with this like weird thing that they found. So, well, the thing is, is that the, the marker just makes the necromorphs and necromorphs appear to take any flash. Oh. And it, it looks like they just found like a bunch of unoccupied like flesh and we're like, oh cool. So specifically, um they make the weird little baby crawlers. Yeah, they turn those into crawlers. I think they actually are called crawlers. I could Google it. I have the tab open the for problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker. For him. And the tentacle there you go. Hit him again. There you go. There it is. Wait, sorry, what did he say? Dementia. Of who? Shit just happens. Why? The marker. Are you reading the wiki? Yeah. So the marker causes dementia, depression, all that good stuff. Yeah. Bad stuff. Causes mental stuff in all the brains of the humans around it. Okay. So it's not just Isaac then. Yeah. Isaac just happens to be the one we're playing as. But it's happened to other people that you play as. Okay. Okay. But the crawlers are the baby enemies. What are these things called? I mean, aren't the crawlers... The... Wait, what? what are you trying to figure out? I'm trying to figure out the name of these guys. The babies? Yeah. Crawlers? No. Like a crawler is like a baby baby. Like it looks like a baby doll. They Those call things look... the babies crawlers? Like the <laughs> human babies? That's, yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah, it is. <laughs> These are lurkers. There they are. Sarah, go through the door. Wow. Well, there's the morgue doors that you asked for. Shout out to the morgue doors. There he is. Oh, no. I hate it. You might want to get in there and kill that thing. I don't know if you see what it's doing. What's it doing? What is, look at it, dear. I can't get in there, huh? You're, there's a window. There's a window. Yeah, that where? window. Where? What do you mean, where? Ah! 
You done? You ain't done. I gotta finish my plate. Anyway. Is it, what? It's stuck to you. Okay. So Dead Space tries to likes to do this a lot, but yes, there was a huge window right there. You see it? Oh, sorry, I couldn't tell. I couldn't. I thought this was glass. What? Okay, here, right yes. here. So there's a window. Uh huh. Right here. And how does it? Sorry. <laughs> Explain this to me. Okay. It just wanted you to watch what was happening. Mm -hmm. And it did that a couple of times before when it just shows you a new necromorph behind glass and okay. then it attacks a guy. Uh -huh. So that thing's called an infector. Yes. And it jumped on a regular corpse and turned it into a necromorph. Okay. So what was... <laughs> I didn't know it was a window. I thought that was glass. I, you told me to go to the window. I thought you meant go through the window. No. You just okay. had to watch. I, I didn't know what you wanted me to do. No. But there's stuff in that room. Okay. Sorry. I'm just looking. I didn't know you wanted me to look at it. You said go to the window, and I thought you meant, like, you know, go through. No. And I was like, it's to. glass. I can't go through. Marker on the wall. Pardon? Marker. Marker? Yeah. What does that mean? The marker. Is that what the marker looks like? Yeah, it's that mm -hmm. weird little double helix. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Yeah. Did you hear my dementia? Yep. Let's do everywhere at the end of time, but with dead space, uh, like, sounds. People would kill each other. Why? <sighs> it's shit designed to make you feel like you're going insane anyway. Sorry, I'm just looking for this. Dr. Domus G. It's my sad duty to pronounce Benny Mathai's dead. Resorts, uh, resor reports of these circumstances are conflicted. Beyond the scope of my role, I can only report on the body. Generally good health. A cursory blood test show his leukocyte count was low, with eosinophils in particular almost non-existent. What does e that tell you? Eosinophils. It means that there's... Uh, hold on. Leukocyte count was very low, with eosinophils in particular... Uh... Basically, his body aren't, isn't making white blood cells. It's not responding to an infection. Um, b -b 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 -b. His pre-flight physical exams showed no such problem, indicating rapid onset. It is unlikely this had effect on his death. So maybe something taking over his immune system? Mm. Multiple contusions on the arm and hands, indicating a brief struggle pre-mortem. Slight contusion on the ribcage, suggesting the chest was restrained in some way. Cause of death was prolonged trauma to the ocular body which continued on to the cavity wall and into the frontal lobe, causing rapid neurotrauma, seizure, and then death. The force required to puncture the ocular cavity in this manner is great, and the possibility of self-infliction correspondingly very low. I have no alternative but to record a preliminary verdict of unlawful death, whether deliberate or accidental is beyond my jurisdiction. Maybe like an aplastic anemia, where they just don't have any, um, you know, white white blood cells proliferating inside the marrow. Maybe. But, yeah, it's just not showing any, um, you know, response. Though I don't know why they would pick out eosinophils specifically. Um, I guess if you have a parasitic infection, they would expect it. I mean, shit, what are these things? I guess so. That. There you go. So, yeah, Dead Space likes to do this a couple of times. Um, it's, it's, it does it probably like five or I six need to times. I need to see if I'm right. Real, real quick, hold on. You can cut this out, right? Yeah. So wouldn't an actual infection also account for a low leukocyte? Um. If it was serious enough. Necessarily, but it's possible. Remember that this is crazy sci-fi. Don't like, don't test me right now. I I'm it's my weekend. <laughs> You're the one googling the answers. There's a specific one that's like. 
let's pause the recording real quick. Here, you pause it. You would have to have like an immune disorder for your body to just stop. There's not really an infection that would just stop you from making it. Um, maybe certain types of viral infections that affect your immune system. But I was right, by the way. It is aplastic anemia. There's another ner uh, word for aplastic anemia, and that's what I was thinking. But <laughs> I'm studying this right now, so I'm just like, oh, God, I was wrong. Oh, my gosh. So he didn't have it before he stepped on this plane. What does that tell you? virus anyway so yeah dead space likes to do the um the thing where it shows you because like earlier it showed you that guy trying to get like getting killed by the necromorph and the door didn't unlock until after he was dead and like you ran ahead to try to save him but the game just wanted you to watch what happened to him right to adequately prepare you that you're going to be fighting necromorphs with range now uh and similarly you couldn't do anything about this guy, so it wanted you to watch through the window. Windows being made of glass. Um, look at explosion. <laughs> in case of explosion, look directly at explosion. I do have a continually problem with this. I, I I get very I get distracted very easily, and so even when it's like, hey, look at this thing right in front of your face, I'm like, okay, but isn't there's a shiny thing over here though? That's that's part of why I was so confused. But also, I said go to the window. And you tried to go around the window, and you said... Well, yeah, because I realized, I was like, oh, I couldn't go... I can't go through the window. That means I have to go through a door. <laughs> <laughs> my, my thought process... But through was never in there. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but... So you don't go through windows anyway. Have I been in here? Yeah. Oh. You took a shortcut. Have I been in here? You're backtracking. So, uh, that's what happened to the captain, if you remember. He turned into a weird, like, greenish black and orange necromorph. What's oh. happening, babe? Sorry, one in my, uh, well, let me. I want to use my plasma. Okay. There we go. The captain turned into a weird green, black, and orange necromorph, remember? Yeah. Because he was jumped on by that weird flying thing. Where are you going? I'm just I'm checking this out again real quick. But you're already in here and you scraped the walls. Okay, cool. Sorry, it's... I already have all this. Yes. Why is that there? In case of emergency. And then I was in here. There's a lot in Dead Space that is given to be like, what if, what if it was an actual workspace? Mm. That's why shit is so clearly demarcated. Like. Oh. I was like, why am I struggling? It's a good way of telling you in case you just forget to look at his back. Oh, you mean the thing right in front of me? Yeah. Anyway, sorry for my, uh, just lapse in hearing. Somehow one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. Somehow. It's like the end aliens, except I'm the lady. But there's no cat. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. Oh, if the body doesn't see... Go to the shop first, by the way. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. If the body doesn't see, um something as non-self then it won't attack it so if it sees that foreign material as self then it's like okay it's me i won't attack it so if it integrates itself um and it doesn't have it completely doesn't have like foreign antigens that our body can detect then our body's like hey that's me so there's another way around it. Um. You have unlocked line rack. So now you can buy ammo for the line gun. Um, if something can like live inside of our cells, 
sell sells, then usually it can trick us. Um, what am I buying? Whatever you want. Hmm. Hmm. Also, I would sell at least one stack of plasma. Okay. Because it's just taking up space in your inventory. Sure. Look at all that. Yeah. Oh, also, somehow you got pulse rounds. I would sell those too. Because you don't have a pulse rifle. All right. Should I go to a bench real quick, you think? No. Okay. What's this? It's a shiny. <laughs> um. Ugh. Oh, big old stretch. Oh. Power through it, babe. We're almost done with the chapter. You realize you said that like 30 minutes ago, right? I said, wow. Well, <laughs> we only went through like four rooms. But I do realize I said that a bit ago. Though I will say we did get distracted by talking about jeans. Back on the ship. You're the tram. Back one. Ooh, ladies. Busy soda pop. So, closing thoughts for chapter two. Very scary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got, um, got spooked a lot. I like the introduction of the new enemies. Yes, so um, now we have the little guy, the gremlins who stick on the walls and shoot at you. And we have the guys that can fly and infect corpses into regular necromorphs. In addition to the leapers who crawl around the floor or jump and the normal slashers. Yeah, I like the weird um, pseudoscience. Um, but yeah. Yeah, these things strike me as a, like, a type of kind of acting like a virus where it tricks your body into thinking that it's not, you know, it doesn't have any antigens. Yeah. So then, you know, your body never puts out antibodies to it in your white blood cells. If it doesn't have an antibody, then your white blood cells are like, eh, we don't need to be here, guys. We're all <laughs> fine. Anyway, that's your science for the day. Chapter two completed. I want to do another one. Okay, but well, we should cut the episode. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I've been Alfred. New save. New save. And I've been Sarah. This has been Dead Space 1. Thank you all for coming. Bye. Bye.